All right, it's officially 5.30 in the morning. Headed down to the lake now. Show you guys. You just can't be scared of the dark when you're a grown man. You gotta get to these places. Gonna have you a good headlamp. And I feel like I'm gonna have to get out a little bit. I should have wore higher boots because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to get out a lot. And I just got the inside of my boots wet. Dang it. Two seconds into the trip. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're out here on the native Titan X and uh, we're out here in the middle of this pond, back here in the middle of the woods. It was extremely hard to get to. My feet are soaking wet because I wore these under armor muck boots and uh, they only go up about six inches and i had to go waist deep because there was a lot of trees and logs i had to cross this morning but i already caught a couple fish this morning and uh, the sun's just now coming up want to do the intro after the sun slightly come up just a little bit but we're going to be working this strike king skipping buzz skipping them up under these tree limbs and uh, trying to get some fish on top water and then later today i'm pretty sure i'll be able to find a crankbait bite i've never fished a crankbait out in this lake so it's not like I have super amount of knowledge on crankbaits out here, but I got a good feeling. I got the mock bouncer. It runs about four to six foot deep, I think. And uh, we're gonna be using that today. So without any further ado, I wanna hurry up and get this top water bite, get you guys up under these trees. So let's get to it. All right, guys, you probably get, oh man, I hit my knee on that one. You probably can't see much, but I just got down to the lake and I'm getting on some hot spots. The sun's just now starting to come over the clouds. And uh, these fish normally go crazy right now. Normally you don't catch a lot right now, but it'll be a, a six plus. Just want to interrupt the video for the comment of the day. Comment of the day. All right. Go it is, comment of the day. All right, it is comment of the day time. I'm going to pin you guys comment at the top of the video. Got my boys Jesse. over here trying to get in the video, but going to pin that up to the top of the comments. If you want to be on the comment of the day, make sure you drop a comment. Let's get back to the video. Come on, big girl. That's not a big girl, but it's a fish. First fish of the day. She got some fight in her too. Right, King Skipping Buzz. Okay. She was right on the bank. Seemed like I just saw some minnows or something moving from over here. Normally a good sign that there could be a fish. Best believe I'm gonna get me some skippity doo dahs up under the tree today. So, go to the outside first and then the inside. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. I feel like we'll catch way bigger today. So up on this side, there's a lot of overhangs, a lot of trees that come out in the water. And that's really where we want to hit because this lake doesn't get a lot of pressure, but I guarantee you people are not skipping up under the trees. That's exactly how we want to do it right there. 
skippity doo da skippity dee. I like to work the outsides of these trees first and then skip up under them. You guys might want to do it the opposite way. It's just how I like to do it. It shallows, off, shallows up a lot in the back of this pocket. But I have been known to pull out a four and a half or a five every now and then. Right over here. Skippity doo da, skippity dee da, skippity dee. All right, no more skipping needed right here. Gonna get a long cast. What I tell you. And look, that's how they're supposed to eat it. You guys see that? Just inhaled the frog. There's gonna be more up in here. The China. All right, pull over the log, pull over the log. Come on, tell me there's one there. Tell me there's one there. Come on. Man, that looked too good. Right at the boat. Right on in that brush pile where you should have been. That ain't a bad fish. They've all fought really hard though. Him. He got my tail. A little booger. Not sure if I brought any more of those rivet frogs for the skipping toads. I should have more, but what I should have and what I have. Dang it, boy. They don't seem to mind it with a missing leg on it. I caught a, probably my biggest fish I've ever caught out here. Maybe seven and three quarters. Almost right where my buzz bait is now. Maybe another 20 feet up. Not a bad fish, not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. Just what we needed to break the ice. Not a big one. But two and a half, three pounder. Bada boom, bada bing, just like that. Old skipping buzz, boys. Maybe I can find a hole of them out here. There's big old balls of crappie out here. These fish feed on them. I know they do. What 
tell you. Ah, shook out. There we go. Crankbait bass. Still grabbing you by the lip. All right, guys, it's officially almost an end of the day. So we're going to lift this thing up. It's way too shallow right here. I actually need to lift this thing up, too. Gosh, things started biting right at the boat. Largely in the creek. Largely in the creek. All right, I appreciate it if you guys stuck around to the end of the video. That was an absolute rough day out there on the water, pulling over all those logs and like, but I found some creek bass, so that's pretty good. Come on, Merrick. I just got a giant package in from Yak Attack. Gonna be putting a lot of the stuff on the Native Titan X and uh, getting this thing like tournament grade ready. So if you guys wanna see the Native Titan X upgrades, mods accessories stay tuned i'm gonna do an entire video on that eventually get a couple garmin screens on there because i want to really be able to hold up come on bud me. i ain't scared you, you did. i really want to be able to uh like fish a tournament out of this thing if i want to take it to a new body of water really pick it apart figure out these fish uh like you said i I found a couple of crankbait fish in the video and uh, they were suspended off a little ledge, but I know that lake pretty good. So 
but it'll help having uh, some mods and accessories on the yak. So be, let me know if you guys want to see that. Until the next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.